hello hello and thank you for dropping by for my favorite video of the month um i'm ruby this is ruby red and today we're doing another round of my tbr game tic tac tbr <clears throat> every month i play this little game to help guide my reading throughout the month um i pick nine prompts randomly i put them in a tic tac toe board and then i try to read books that are gonna fulfill prompts and get me at least one three in a row and for every three in a row I get I have a reward that will help me out in the next month and if I don't get any three in rows and nothing happens there's no punishments here um just having a good time so uh that's the basics and if you want to play your own round uh, I have a template link below you can save it to your own google drive and adjust the prompts to your liking and then easily just click 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 um play your own game so uh, if you have any questions about that, I can be reached via uh, the comment section below. Um, before we get into the May stuff, we have to wrap up the April stuff. Um, so I do have a couple of days left in May, but I don't think I'm going to be finishing anything that's going to fit on the board. Actually, I'm going to finish one thing that fits on the board and I'm going to go ahead and just give it to myself right now because I know that I'll finish it. Okay, so... Um, Uh, last month's board, here we go. Uh, just a reminder, the prompts were a book on my shelf, book over 400 pages, 500 pages, <laughs> sorry, a mystery, an East Asian author, a book about sports, a book set in a state that I have lived in, uh, one of my mom's faves, uh, a Quiddler prompt, which was Ty slash J, and a book with a bad cover. So, uh, here's, here's what I read. Um, first of all, I read 84 Charing Cross Road by Helene Hanf, um, and that has a pretty bad cover. Um, at least the version that I listened to had a supremely bad cover. I think there's a newer one that's not as bad, but still kind of bad. So, that's bad cover. Oh, I finished a book that was on my shelf, um, and that is The Small Way Too Long. Wait, the Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. Um, that was a sci-fi book that I read um, in my Tahoe vlog, so I'll link that below if you want to check it out. Um, see how it went. It went very well. Um, and yeah, that was on my shelf, and I read it. Great. Uh, then I read a book that fills my Quiddler prompt uh, thing, which I thought that I was going to use Ty, and I thought I had a book with a Ty person wearing a tie on the cover, and that actually ended up not being true. But then I'm going to use the J portion of that and say that like J's are birds and I read The Hawk's Way by Sam Montgomery, which is about hawks, which are birds. Amazing. Look at me go. Uh, and that's also in the title vlog. <clears throat> then I finished a book about sports. This was genius, frankly. Um, and that was Deep by James Nestor. And that's a book that is generally about free diving, the sport of free diving. Uh, it's also about a bunch of other stuff. So cool very interesting and honestly if you're at all interested in the ocean you should check it out also talk about that in the tunnel blog that's really the only time this month that i read anything um and then finally uh i haven't finished the portrait of a thief yet <laughs> but uh i will finish it either today or tomorrow <clears throat> And that is by Grace Lee, who is a Chinese American author. Uh, so I'm going to give myself East Asian author. So that's all the books that I read that fit into these props. Um, it's mostly all the books that I read. But I'm going to use my one freebie for state set in the state that I lived in. And that's going to give me two three to row. So I'm going to get two rewards this month, which is great. Um, it Honestly, I'm surprised that that came together because I spent most of the month being like, shoot, I'm going to fail. But then I didn't. So that's fantastic. Um, really quick, I also just want to sum up my magical readathon progress from this month. Um, I completed four of the six prompts that I really wanted to complete. Um, I read River of Teeth, which has a romance in it, so I'm counting that. Um, I read 84 Chair and Cross Road, which is a book about books, which is a trope that I really like. Um, I read The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet, which has light source on the cover. There's lots of stars on the cover. Um, and then I read The Hawk's Way, which is an Earth setting because it's set on Earth. Um, and I have made progress on my Essays and Stories book and on my Intimidating Read, but I haven't finished them this month. I'm not going to, but I'm still going to finish them before the next Magical Readathon hap- <laughs> Before the next Magical Readathon happens. <laughs> Carmen. <laughs> um, 
And so that still counts as me having like taken those classes. Okay, this is usually the part where I talk about some books that are like on my brain that I want to be reading next month or that I think are going to be, I'm reading them for something, but um, I don't know my book club book yet and I don't have any uh, specific vlogs figured out at this point. Um, I just have a couple of arcs. I have four arcs that are going to be published in June. Wait, that's the next month, right? Yeah, in June. So I want to try to read them in May. Um, and I'm excited about at least three of them. I have no idea what the fourth one is. I, whatever, sometimes I just black out on that galley, you know what I mean? So uh, that's, that's kind of a, it's kind of a clean slate. Um, so yeah, there's nothing, um, nothing haunting me for May before this round. So maybe I'll be able to do really good in May. All right, screen recording up. Um, my laptop works again, so I can do this not at my desk, which is preferable to me. Um, okay, so I still have the 11 rewards. Let's get those rewards. <laughs> okay, number three, a friend can read a book for you. I love this one. Um, I love this one, it's such a fun, such a fun reward. Okay, great idea, me. Uh, the next one is eight. A freebie. Also a great reward. I guess they're all great. <laughs> Although, no, rearrange the prompts is useless. <laughs> but whatever. Okay. Those are my rewards. Now we can make my prompts. Wow. Sometimes I look at this blank board and I'm still like, where's Jane Eyre? I read Jane Eyre. Oh my god. Okay. There's 127 prompts still. I'm realizing now that I didn't take out the magical readathon prompts that I put in. Or book about sports, which I said I was gonna delete after last month. But it's too late now. Let's just go. Okay. 56. A mystery. Easy, lovely, fantastic. One of my Nekele arcs is a mystery, so that's done. It's called One of the Girls. That's that's all I know. I don't even know who it's by. All right, next we have 14. Author is dead. <laughs> Why did I write it like that? Um, hmm. I mean, that could be, uh, that could prompt me to maybe read one of the books from my 30 by 30. That is like, a lot of them are classics and those authors are dead. So I could check that out. Um, that's probably the route that I'll go. I don't know what I'm like feeling and I still have like so many other I have so many currently reading books I'm gonna have to do something about it um like finish them <laughs> so I'm hesitant to take on like kind of a big challenging book when I have so many other things like half on my plate so I need to handle that before I can tackle like a really big uh classic but maybe I could tackle a smaller classic you'll have to wait and see Add me on Goodreads. It's pretty up to date. Okay. 95. A Western. Oh my gosh. Actually, that's great because um, I just finished River of Teeth uh, today, which is, I think it's a Western. It takes place in like, in Louisiana, I think, which is maybe like not, it's not super West, <laughs> but it has that like, uh, cowboy riding around vibe. So I kind of feel like that counts as a Western. I think I'm gonna be reading the sequel to River of Teeth for this and I don't know what it's called, but they're pretty short books. So I'll just listen to the audiobook, I think, and have a grand old time. 73. That Southern European author again. Listen, I'm probably not gonna do that. <laughs> Maybe I will by accident, but that's really not like a priority for me as far as my diversity reads. I want to be prioritizing some of the uh, non-white countries in my like read the world kind of loose reading challenge that I'm doing. So um, yeah, truly Southern European author, probably not going to happen. Okay, 12. Poetry. Oh, lovely. Hmm. Well, I do have one poetry book on my shelf, and I think one of my arcs is a poetry book, which would be fun. Um, 
but I don't know which one, so I'm not going to say a title to you. But I am looking for more poetry. Um, and actually, I'm going on a little book crawl this weekend. So maybe I will try to find some more poetry books while I'm doing that. Too bad I can't name any names right now. 55. Did we already have that? No, we didn't. South Asian author. Okay, as usual, um, in the moment, there's absolutely nothing on my brain, but I do have a note on my phone with a bunch of specific groups of countries and authors from those countries, so I will look into that list and pick something. Um, this one feels much more likely to happen than Southern European author, and um, if you have any recommendations, I'd love to read them. Let me know down below. I feel like I'm not bringing that much, like, oh, we already had 12 right? Yeah. Okay, let's do another one. I feel like I'm not bringing like that much high energy to this today and I apologize, but you know what? April was kind of a rough month. On my shelf, easy, love it, so perfect. Um, there are two books that I'm currently reading that I'll probably finish in May that were from my shelf. One of them is Erosion by Terry Tempest Williams um, and that's a book I'm trying to read for the Magical Readathon, and I'm honestly having a hard time because some of it is so good and some of it is like bad. <laughs> like some of the essays I'm like, this is horrible. <laughs> and some of them I'm like, this is fantastic. So that's very confusing. Uh, I never know what I'm gonna get. But the good ones are good enough that I wanna keep reading. So that's on my shelf. And I'm also reading a book called Lost Connections, like, the real causes of depression and how to find hope or something by, I don't remember. Um, it's just a book about like a new way of looking at depression and how to find hope. So, uh, you know, I'm doing fine, but I could be doing better. And uh, I have been uh, certainly intrigued by the book. Um, I'm not gonna say anything else about it because I haven't read all that much of it, <laughs> but it's on my shelf. Six. Mythology. This is one that I meant to delete, actually. Because, well, I don't know, I just haven't been hearing or seeing that many like mythology-based books that seem that interesting to me. Um, I know that there's a lot of like Greek myth retellings, there's like so much Hades and Persephone stuff on the market, but uh, none of those are super striking my fancy. I feel like uh, first of all, like, there's so many of them, I'm kind of over it, uh, and, like, there's other myths, uh, but also sometimes with the retellings, like, I am pretty familiar with Greek mythology, and so, uh, I guess, like, I don't want to read that many retellings, because I already know the myth, so now I have the myth and the retelling, and I don't necessarily want to read, like, three more retellings. I don't know, I just feel like the market is saturated with these right now, and that, like quality is not, you know, although maybe uh, the author of Ariadne has a new book coming out or already came out. Maybe I could look and see what that was. I did like that book. Um, and also there are other mythologies besides Greek, but I lean towards the Greek ones because I'm familiar with those. Like I want to know the myths that I'm reading about. So maybe I should actually just find a book that is like the myths of something else. Like I could read Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman if I wanted but I don't want but something like that do you know of any um <laughs> books like that that are like a collection of mythology that's not from Greece or <laughs> uh like Europe because I'm interested I'm gonna do some googling about that okay last prompt a three-word title wow easy lovely um i will say i could i mean a lot of things probably have through her titles but uh one of the books that i'm currently reading which i started i think in october maybe november maybe september um is tara for change by jessica door and and that's a book that kind of marries um psychological theory with spirituality and tarot and she sort of uses each of the cards to talk about a different facet of psychology and like 
mental health and like self-awareness and all those things. So it's very interesting to read, um, but it's hard to read a lot at once. Like I want to read a few of the cards, a few stories, um, and then like digest them and then go back and read a few more, but it ends up being that like I read a few and then I don't go back. So I'm gonna try to make more progress on my book this month. Maybe I will finish it. Sorry, my dog is groaning so much throughout this whole video. Um, so yeah, that has a few word title and maybe I'll finish it, but maybe I won't and maybe it'll be something else. You never know. Um, you're gonna have to come back here next month at this same time and find out. So I think that's it. All right, so that's done. That's my board. That's May. Um, I will be keeping an eye out to see if any of my friends are going to maybe read a mythology book. That's what happened the last time I had that prompt is somebody read one for me. Um, but I'm definitely going to have some googling to do and then usually I just I'll do some googling now and I'll put a bunch of options in the spreadsheet like next to each of the prompts so that I can look at it and see like some of my ideas um but I also love to have your ideas so if you've got any uh ideas stop saying ideas if you have any recommendations if there's anything that you've read recently that was awesome that I should read whether or not if it's the prompts please let me know down below I appreciate every single comment every single like and subscribe um, I appreciate everyone who's been sticking around and I hope that I'll see you next time. Okay, goodbye.